built this one a while back. Well, not a while back. It's been a few months. But, uh, it was a two-seater car. It's a Manco. You can see there. And I, uh, moved all the steering and stuff to the middle. Made it a, you know, real nice one-seater. It's a really nice go-kart, and it works great, but, uh, going to be taking the axle off of it, and I was originally going to try to cut off these hangers and use them, but the way they're actually mounted to the frame, I think it would be better for me to actually just buy some new hangers. So that's what will happen there. When I bought this card, it actually came with this extra plate, which is the right plate, like it's the right uh, bolt holes drilled for a motor. So what I'm going to do is basically take and chop this, uh, I don't know. Looks like it's been for a jack shaft or something, but I'm going to chop this uh, rear bearing holder off and slit these holes out where you can slide the motor back and forth, and then there's my motor plate, so that's awesome. Um, this cart was running before I took the motor off of it and put it on the race cart, but uh, I was contemplating whether or not I should try to keep this, and I can almost have like a handbrake, which would be kind of cool, but I'm afraid it might flat spot the wheels, so I don't know whether I'll do that or not. And then also the chain. I was hoping I could reuse the chain, but that's pretty rough and it's locked up. I might try to salvage it. I got some PV Blaster and WD-40 set up over there. I might hit it with her in a little bit. But basically, the idea today is I'm not sure what all I'm going to get done, but I'm going to try to get this axle off, um, get it measured, find out exactly what I'm working with there, and then just kind of see what, what starts happening. I don't really have a set plan on what all I want to get done today. At some point I'm supposed to go up and help uh, Devin put the intake back on his uh, SI. So at that time you'll probably see his drift truck. We'll probably get it out and ride a little bit, but that's weather permitting. It's a pretty nasty day out. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get to work on getting this axle off. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've got the cart disassembled down to the point where I'm probably going to leave it now. Um, I've got the axle off and the axle completely disassembled. I'm going to try to reuse as much as I can. I'm going to take and, like, you know, clean up the sprocket and all that stuff. But uh, this axle's pretty pretty nasty looking. I'm actually going to take and wash it with some, some purple power. It feels like still. That's not aluminum. I was hoping it would be aluminum, but it's not, so it will rust. I'm going to take and clean it with purple power, get all this oil off, and then actually do a little bit of sanding, knock some of this uh, rust or buildup off, and I was going to try to polish it. And so it'll look a lot better, and then it would resist, uh, you know, corrosion. But uh, it's a 36 inch axle from the axle axle part to axle part. It, that, that's not counting the uh, threads on the end. So Okay, so we're actually headed up to Devon's now. I just finished putting all the tools up. Oh, that's heavy. We're going to head up to Devon's. And uh, I'm going to show off. Got a new grinder and everything. But we're going to head up there and work on his intake. For just a second, I'm trying to get it wrapped up more today. He took uh, the intake off his EM1 and powder coated it, so it looks pretty good. He powder coated it a, a gray, it's actually a custom color, it's got a few different uh, coats on it. But we're gonna head up there and mess with that for a little bit. I'm trying to talk him into getting his drift track out, I'm sure he'll be all for that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, this will be pretty fun. Like I said. Should be working on mine a little bit more later. Just depends on how long all this takes. It's just now 12 o'clock, so. Hey. What's going on? This is EM1 Carl. And this is EM1. Uh, some things have changed on it. You might have seen this. I don't know. He uh, re-powder coated the valve cover with a black wrinkle. And he actually just finished powder coating the intake manifold in a metallic gray, so. It's looking pretty mint. He just got to finish hooking everything back up and... Should be ready to go. Alright, let me get in this boat. Oh. Oh, mount it. 
Honda owners would be like. Okay, I'm about to Google this part number for him because he broke it taking it apart. You know, on the boys be like. But uh, <laughs> anyway, got the intake all buttoned up. There's a bowl I dropped last week. We got to get out from underneath the car for this last hole right here. But other than that, everything's back on and good. Other than this hose right here, the uh, adapter and extender part is broke. It was just dry rotted. It turned plastic more or less so you have to order a new one of those but other than that she's good i'm gonna google this part number for him real quick and then we're gonna try to roll the car for and see if we can't find that bolt and there's mr carl's drift truck <laughs> need to mess with the throttle a little bit but other than that she's ready to ride You want to take us around it? Uh, that's a Predator 212. It's got 17 horsepower. Seven and a half. Oh yeah, my bad. Sorry. Seven and a half. The old butt dyno said about 15. Yeah, pretty much. BMX bot frame. That's actually a Diamondback Joker. Yeah. And everything else is just custom. Start her up. Start her up. Or I guess we should roll her out for her time. Starting her up. Good. Go ahead and take the truck off. Oh, I love it. Do it.